In this video, we're going to learn how to insert external references into AutoCAD. Now, external references, or XREFs for short, is um, basically taking an existing drawing file and inserting it into a different drawing file, and it's referenced in. It's going to what what that means is is that let's say for example a floor plan. We might X reference in a floor plan, the actual walls and doors and windows and things like that, into the sheet that has all the dimensions. We also might bring it into the sheet that has the electrical, the lighting, the power, different things like that. We might bring it into a sheet that has the HVAC, um, just all kinds of different uses for that one drawing file, the floor plan. And what you don't want to have to do is, if the, a change needs to be made to the floor plan, you don't want to have to go and open every single drawing that, that has the floor plan in it. You want to have it in one spot, you go and you modify it one time, and then it updates it in all the other drawings. That's the beauty of an external reference. So let's take a look at how we insert an external reference. Um, well, first of all, if you're used to the keyboard, you can type xref. And I kind of have a tendency to type any command that I can type with one hand. Uh, I'm right-handed, so if I can type it with my left hand, because my left hand is always on the keyboard, especially if I can type it one hand, left-handed, normal, and not have to reach across the keys, um, to hit keys that were with my right hand, I always type those. So you can type XREF out, or you can type XR, and when you hit enter, if you're using, uh, I'm using AutoCAD 2010, and so it's a little bit different uh, in AutoCAD 2010 and also in AutoCAD 2009 as to what happens when you do that. Um, it brings up this dialog box, or actually this palette, called external reference. So it doesn't go into the external reference command. It basically just launches this palette right here. And then up here we see that we have the options to attach a drawing file, an image, a DWF, a DGN, or a PDF. So um, some of these were available in uh, AutoCAD 2009. PDF is new to AutoCAD 2000, uh, 2010. And again, we're going to just kind of look at doing the drawing files right now. So I'm going to go ahead and attach a drawing file. And I'm just going to pick this floor plan right here. And you can either double click it or you can um, pick it and tell it open, whichever one you want to do. And it brings us to the Attach External Reference dialog box. Now, this looks a little bit different than a pre in previous versions. Uh, we got a little preview window and, and really that's about it. We have the um, ability to set some options here and I'm going to just kind of walk through some of them real quick. Uh, we have scale and we have the insertion point. Now in this case my insertion point is not selected. Uh, the checkbox is not selected for specify on screen because I want it to just be inserted at 0, 0, 0. Um, if you want to pick where you wanted to insert it just check that box and it'll prompt you for it whenever you uh, tell it OK here. Same thing with scale. Now since this is a floor plan, it was drawn to full scale, so I do not need to scale it. If I was referencing in something such as a title block or a symbol of some sort into model space, I may would need to scale it based on the scale factor of the drawing. But in this case, I do not need to scale it because it was drawn one-to-one. -one, it needs to be brought in at one-to-one. -one. Rotation, uh, again, I can specify it on screen or I can just let it uh, be zero, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to tell it OK. So there's my drawing of my floor plan. I was able to x-reference it in. If I click on it, I see that it kind of behaves as a block. If you're using 2010, your ribbon will change and you'll see some options here. Um, if I go right click on it, I can see that it's, I can edit the x-ref in place or I can open the x-ref. I'm going to go ahead and uh, come back over here to my little palette. And now I can see that my external reference is in here. It's um, the status is loaded, and we see that the type is overlay. So, uh, so that allows us to kind of see what we have right there. We can stretch it out, and we can see the path. Um, we can see the date. We can see all that kind of information. And um, let's see here. What I want to do also, though, is I want to right click on this, and I want to show you how you can get rid of it. If I want to unload it. I can click right here to unload, and when I unload an XREF, basically what happens is it disappears off the screen, but it still exists in the drawing, so that it remembers the insertion point and different things like that. 
if I go and tell it to detach it, well, then it gets rid of it altogether. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to detach it just because I want to show you another way to insert your XREF. So I'm going to just close this. And you see up here we, we have an, a tab for insert. And over here we can just click straight to attach. Now when I click attach right here, it's attaching a reference. It goes straight to the select reference file and it allows me to pick the file that I want to pick. So I'm going to go to the directory to get my drawing and I'm going to tell it to open right here and it brings us back to that same uh, view, the same dialog box we looked at before. So I can just tell it OK and it comes in here. So the difference between typing XR or XREF um, versus picking it from the, the uh, palette up here, the ribbon, um, is just it saves you one of those dialog box steps.